Okay, Eric, so your channel is really gay, like gay, gay. The amount of gay and queer content that this straight man puts out on his channel every single week is astounding to me. I almost want to start a new video series where I just basically react to every single gay or trans or queer video that this man makes. I have to make it a members only thing because it'd be way too much content to just throw out every single week. It would take up every single day of my week. Anyway, this is a video about Elliot Page. It's called Not Quite Peak Wokeness Yet is the title. A uh, very uh, anti-gay, anti-trans thumbnail, of course. Uh, it's over nine minutes long. You know how we do. I've already pitched up the speed on it, so we don't have to slog through the video. Uh, but you might want to grab a drink, grab a snack. We are going to debunk this. All right, here we go. Well, this is some, uh, another story that came out not too long ago. Uh, but Paige here. Elliot Page. <laughs> Why don't you want to say his name? It's really weird. This person's got it all together. Had some interesting things to say. That title is toxic as fuck. First of all, it's Breitbart, so you know it's just a bunch of shit. Uh, but yeah, the title is toxic as fuck. Uh, I don't expect anything more from Breitbart. I think you guys understand why. Transgender actor Elliot Page coming from Breitbart is blasting Hollywood producers who feel that queer films are not movies for mainstream. Speaking at the stage at a BFI Flair, London's Gay Film Festival, Page insisted that gay films can't be niche because of emphasis on gay there. Did you hear that? Gay film festival. Man, this guy just hates gay people. Recent survey claimed that 30% of American youth identify as I'm not about to say this alphabet suit shit. Thank you. Page says, I hate. I mean, it's the it's what they did. Breitbart's making fun of like he probably doesn't even realize that that's not a real thing. He probably Eric is so stupid. He doesn't even realize that that's a, a made up uh, amalgamation of, of crap that I have to say. And I feel lucky because it should not be the case. And we should have lots of trans actors is the position that they are, that they have preferred okay. by now uh, pronouns are now he, him and they, them and page self identifies as non bot. Well, 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 which wait a minute, which one is it? So it's both. Oh my God, just the amount of ignorance, the amount of ignorance. Prize mother page also reportedly insisted that acting awards need to be gender neutral. You don't want that. Trust me. But I think that's a very, very... Why, though? Are you... I mean, you've got nine minutes here. You don't want to go into why you don't think they should be gender neutral? You're just going to say that and move on to the next thing? Okay. Let's go. The important thing to note is this this bit right here. Recent survey claiming that 30% of American youth identify as such. Mm -hmm. I don't see how anybody can look at that and think that's a good thing. Well, I mean, are we talking... We're not even a minute and a half in. Are we Are we not talking about the stuff that Elliot was saying about movies and stuff? We're, are we jumping off that track and moving into something else? I, I don't see. That wasn't even the discussion. That was just mentioned as why Elliot believes that more queer movies could be mainstream. That's That was the statement that he made. So now we're. All right. And by that, I mean, clearly those that data does not uh, l let me actually be even clear. Clearly, that data is not something that uh, it was uh, replicated in years past or generations past. What the what what changed to where so many youth people in the other youth identify as this alphabet crap? Uh, uh, you know, insult aside, um, if you actually went to the survey to read, there's a lot of stuff on that survey. It also says that. Uh, more people identify in Gen Z, more people identify as queer than they do a as a Republican in Gen Z, which I think uh, is quite interesting that they're not uh, they're not doing the Republican stuff uh, in Gen Z, I guess, which you should probably be more um, afraid of than how they identify uh, with their genders and their sexuality. Anyway, nevertheless, um, the reason why it is happening is because people have access to a lot of things and tools and information because of cultural progress of science of um the transfer of information communities becoming more and more global because of the internet uh more acceptance happening people feeling more comfortable being themselves uh because here's the thing the identification of being queer uh is the surface of it like that's the that's the stuff that you guys see outward queer people existed in large amounts prior to this, they just weren't out about it. They weren't open about it. Some of the queer identities that we have now were not even conceptualized 
until recently. And that's because a lot of it is more social than it is scientific. So you take those social things and you're like, all right, so this person uh, feels this way. Well, then that could be a separate thing from previous things that we had. So then you create a new, a new social structure that way. And that's has to do with progress. That's that's the world we're living in. Things are getting better for people. They feel more comfortable, more open, more accepting. And so uh, they're able to live the lives that they want to live and be happy about it. And that's a decision that an individual person should have. I mean, you as someone who uh, believes in personal freedoms, you should like you should feel that way about people wanting to do what they want to do individually. Like you should be a supporter of that. I don't really understand how you can feel that way about personal property and, and freedoms and things like that, but then have be such a stickler about like queer people and identities. Like if you believe that people should have freedoms without the government, without society doing things to them, then I don't understand how you can be so against individuals living a life that makes them happy because it doesn't affect you in the least. You have no, there's no material harm from what people are doing with their personal lives to you and your personal. And then does that have anything to do? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there trying to kind of use my context clues a lot, with a lot of the crap that's getting pushed on a lot of these youngsters. And why is it that they are so hell bent? I mean, even in Florida, they unfortunately miscategorized uh, a bill that basically prevented people teaching this weird stuff to kindergartners. Oh, that's a very narrow view of that. Basically, basically, you mean the parental's rights an education bill slash law, that one, the one that originally was designed to keep gender identity and sexuality from being discussed at all from pre-K to third grade. That was what the original bill slash law was. However, it slowly and slowly got expanded all the way up to high school to the point where it was causing issues with things in high school like books in the library, after school programs, allyship from different uh, communities, people coming in and helping things like that. It, it was a big problem. And also it was too vague, which is the reason why a lot of people smarter than you and I were like, no, this isn't good. It needs to be more specific. That is why. And let me, I'll go even further than that. I will actually explain why people saw the writing on the wall. In certain states, they are trying to bring the death penalty to people who are registered as offenders, doing that because of YouTube, registered as offenders in the state for things regarding young people. Guess what some of the, I don't know, repercussions of this don't say gay parental rights and education law would have been is that some of the people who may have said, hey, my preferred pronouns are he, him, when they're working at school, guess what? They could have been struck with a felony for those exact things. And then guess what they could go up for? The death penalty to be unalived over something like that, over pronouns. That is what the issue was with this bill slash law was that it was too vague and it needed to be more specific. And that is why they it got challenged and why the people who challenged it won. It wasn't basically teaching weird shit to, to kindergartners. They called it the don't say gay bill. They wrongfully called it that just because. And remember, we were covering stories of some gay teacher saying that they feel threatened in Florida yeah. because yes. they fear that they might lose their job or something of that nature. Yes. Because they can't, like, tell. They said they... They were speaking as if they own the children that there is a public school, of course, that they own the children. Go watch that video that I did. I can't remember the name. Why would they be speaking if they own the children? In what regard? In what regard? But they act like they own these children and they were saying that with their children, they want to be able to talk about. Because it, because they call it the, the kids their children. You fundamentally do not understand how language works. I truly believe that at this point. When they're talking about their children, they are talking about in the context of being the students in their classroom, their children slash their students. It's just the way language works. You only find it creepy because you don't like gay people. 
about maybe what their, what them and their spouse did over the fucking weekend. What the hell does that have to do with you teaching children? Not a damn thing. But I'm just putting two and two together. Maybe that has it. You could be standing there talking to another teacher, having a conversation with another adult, casually talking about like, oh, me and my, you know, my me and my husband, we had dinner the other night. We'd love to have you guys over or something, having a casual, completely harmless conversation. And if a student overhears you say, you know, me and my husband had dinner, you could get in trouble for that. Something to do with it. And then maybe they maybe they are looking to influence them. Nonetheless, let's let's get the bull crap. Well, you skip right through that. Like you you blew right through that. Maybe they're looking to influence them. So fucking disgusting, man. Crap aside. It's a niche audience. Also, we're back to this. You you you've done you did all got all that gay hate out about schools and, and stuff like that. You got all that out of your system, even though it had absolutely nothing to do with the original discussion that we were having about Elliot Page. So now we're back to this again. All right. Just trying to stay on the same page as you a very 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 niche audience and if you want to be you want to be a reasonable person you should be able to at least understand that uh perhaps the vast majority of the world does not identify as such and that's shocking that's shock hey a uh, gay friend that's not standing over there do, do you know that the vast majority of the world is not specifically gay or trans did you know that I had no clue. So this guy here on the screen is saying that media can't be for everybody, even if it has a niche audience. It can't be for everybody, or it shouldn't be for everybody. It should only be for that niche audience because the vast majority of the world doesn't isn't gay. I know it's it's a really dumb fucking argument, right? And therefore, trying to force them in the mainstream may have an opposite effect. You know, you get people even talking about this now. Like, I mean, they can't get away from that stuff um i mean look at what you're doing you are on a channel where i'm guessing the vast majority of your viewers are straight because that's the perception you have of, of the world i guess so the vast majority of your audience is straight i guess they wouldn't have read this article they probably didn't even hear about this at all they probably didn't know anything about the poll 30% Gen Z, whatever. They probably knew nothing about that. But you, as a straight cisgender man, have decided that you are going to put it in the face of your audience. You're going to make this content and put it in the face of your audience. Eric, 42% of your videos in a 30-day period was about gay stuff. You and Az, two straight men, do a podcast every week where you discuss gay shit. Every single week. It sounds to me like it's not so much that it's in people's faces, is that y'all can't get enough of it. You're eating it up like it's on sale and you got a bunch of it on discount. It's weird shit, man. It's weird shit. In any form of media, it feels like they have to be as up in any of your faces as, as, as humanly possible. <laughs> and it's not, it does, doesn't work economically for sure. <laughs> we know that. Much. Well, it must because you're making tons of videos about it. If, if gay stuff did not generate money, you would not be making videos about it. See how that works? If nobody wanted to hear about it in any capacity, you wouldn't be making videos about it because it would be financially, uh, it would be unbeneficial for you financially to, to make this kind of content if people didn't want to hear about it in one way or another. So I guess you're doing this for free. You're talking about this stuff for nothing. You're not making any money off of it. But logically, just think about that. You want something, you say that something is a niche despite it representing such a small minority of people. Because that's Elliot's opinion. It's called an opinion, Eric. It's an opinion from one person. One person gave their opinion about queer media, and you're making a whole video, nine minutes worth of content, mad at them for their opinion. It's really fucking weird, man. Um, and, and, it, and it is a divisive topic for, for good reason, for sure. But I find that intriguing when a trans actor thing would dare to say that, well, it shouldn't be niche. And they point to the youth as we're having this conversation about what you. Oh, I see. So you're doing one of these things where you got like a, a board on the wall and you got little pins with strings and you're like, OK, so this poll that Elliot didn't make. Elliot didn't hold this. This poll was done by another company. This poll, it says that 30 percent of Gen Z youth, youth 
uh, you know, is LGBTQIA+. They're queer. So you're holding that against Elliot saying that, hey, maybe this content isn't niche anymore because more and more Gen Z people, younger people, are identifying as queer. So it's quite possible that maybe this is more mainstream than people believe it is. Maybe. Somehow you have drawn that line to like, oh, well, this means, this means indoctrination. It means groomer shit. You got the board up with the strings and everything. Man, you're you're a scumbag. You're trying to bump into the heads of the youth. I just find that very intriguing, very interesting, if I might add. That's what a caveman would do. Like somebody discovering fire for the first time might find something like this intriguing. Saying all this stuff without literally like no no information, no citations. See, Elliot was talking about a poll that was held. You're just astroturfing. I'm just saying. That's just me. And then that, we get gaslit, right? We get gaslit. That's what happens. They say, well, you're crazy. They're not coming for your kids, right? It's that, it's that old cycle. It was never happening. And then you end up on from it never was happening to, yeah, it's happening and it's good that it's happening. Do you sit around and have these arguments in your head? You're sitting around. You're like, man, let's, God, this, it's good. It's happening. Shit. Queer people, you know, these kids or whatever. It's, it's fuck. I'm so mad at them. Like you're getting mad about something like. Provide some context, man. Something. How can you, how do people even watch you and go, yeah, this dude knows what he's talking about? You're you're sitting there staring at your chat and your chat is like gassing you up. It's fucking weird. Fucking weird, man. Find that very, very interesting, huh? I, I'm sure you do. Because you 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 spend so much time thinking about gay people. All of it's interesting to you, man. All of it's interesting. The next thing I know, you'll be at a pride parade wondering why everybody's wearing rainbows. It's fucking genius level shit. Uh, that textbook gaslighting. Oh, oh, he's right. They're not coming for your kids. And then, I, 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 if nothing else, I'm impressed by the left and how they are able to control language. What? Aren't you the community that took woke and flipped it into something that it wasn't? You got like control language. You mean use language the way it's intended to be used, communicating with people? <laughs> the community that, that takes woke and fucking intersectional feminism and, and girl, like you guys apply words to all kinds of shit that it doesn't belong to. You're like, oh, but the left controls language. That to me is uber impressive. How they're able to just be like, yeah, man, we're, we're banning books. Like they're, they're saying that it's, it's it's a negative thing. But that's what? So you're not you're not banning books? Happening that books are being banned, and and how dare you? And then you go look at little. Well, I'm just gonna say this right now. Historically, book burning, book banning is not good for anybody progressive, conservative, center, it's not good for anybody. You don't want the government coming in and telling you what you are free to read and not read. I can't believe this is your position because could you imagine if the government came in and said, oh, no more comic books, can't make comic books anymore, complete ban on comic books. Then your position would change. Like you're okay with banning books that have queer stuff in it, but it's never a good thing when the government wants to censor anything anything it's never good and i cannot believe eric is arguing this a little deeper and you find out yeah they just don't want you selling books or pushing books that have that are trying to teach youngsters about like all sex and shit the only thing you could be referencing is that really dumbass video from like a couple weeks ago with libs of tiktok that reporter. That's the only thing you could be referencing because you're not providing any context here. The fuck is this randomly going gay people are bad because there's these books that are doing X, Y, Z. This is next level. You're like, so you're going to conflate that with book burning. And this is the problem. And this goes for a lot of, I mean, isn't that what it is? 
if you don't want people to have something because you think that they shouldn't have it and then you ban it or burn it, isn't that what it is? I'm so fucking confused. For things out there in the world, man. Unfortunately, a lot of people will not do the research for themselves. I mean, you're not um, doing it. And that's how a lot. You're not doing it. And the people in your audience aren't going to do it. The fucking people sitting in your chat are not going to do research. You're acting like they're, they're on their phones right now. They're on their computers typing in all this stuff to dig up all the stuff you're saying. No, they're listening to you. They're listening to you say it. They're not researching it. You are providing them with your Googleization of everything. This is Eric July Googleizing everything. It, literally. <laughs> a lot of stuff spreads. It's that it's not going to be vetted. And if they do bring it up, it's going to be, they're going to be omitting information purposely, right? Holy shit. That's what you're doing in this video, Eric. That's what you're doing with, earlier with the whole fucking don't say gay shit. You left out a bunch of stuff while you were shitting on gay people right so that they don't give you the full scope of what's happening so now you have a bunch of people it's like don't get say gay bill thing it's like they ran with that and so many people you probably talked with people when that whole parental rights and education uh bill was a thing and you probably remember uh, maybe even locally to you having some conversations with people and their assessment of it is just regurgitating some shit that they heard you mean like teaching shit to kindergartners like what you did you said that you said that. You regurgitated something. You didn't give the full scope. You didn't read the bill out online. You didn't go into detail. It, it, there's probably a lot of people in your chat that don't know what it's about. So you provided them with what you said it was about, which was teaching shit to kindergartners. That's what you said, because they're not going to go and look it up. So you have committed the atrocity that you're accusing people of doing right now in this video. You did it at the two minute mark in your video, and here you are seven and a half minutes in the video saying that people shouldn't do that. The, the hypocrisy just runs through your whole fucking system. Which was fundamentally incorrect. Again, either it was just a flat out lie or they were just purposely, uh, they were led to believe Holy something shit. and the person, group of people, news network, whatever, that was pumping this garbage into their heads was purposely omitting information. Like you just So did. they didn't, they didn't understand the full scope of it. But they ran with this narrative. And that's all manipulative jackasses want. Which is, so are you a manipulative jackass by your own admission? Holy shit. Right? That they do that shit on purpose. It ain't about telling the truth. That's that, that they have no desire to do that. It's not about with, it's not about providing you with, with a context or anything. No, they would zero in on whatever narrative they He's need to really be true. He's about this. He's with the understanding that you're going to believe it and you're going to run with it, especially if it comes from some like sort of agency that you find to be um, holding some position of uh, institutional power. Oh, my God. You, like, this sounds really personal. Who hurt you, Eric? Who hurt you? What gay person turned you down? What gay person were you hitting up on on Grindr? Texting them. Yeah, I'm I'm six foot eight. You know, like whatever. What person were you hitting up online that was like, no, I'm not interested? And now you're big mad about it. Because this sounds real fucking personal. You are really angry about this, about this fucking entire thing. And you made all this up in your head, man. Like what we did, what happened with the COVID shit. If it came from Fauci, well, it must be true because he, I, I am the science, says Fauci, Lord Fauci. So we're on some like, like anti uh, uh, vac shit. Wow. This this is a roller coaster ride today, guys. This is a roller coaster ride. I represent science. Yes, Satan. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You sounded like someone else. Same thing. Provide the context. No, why do that? Why would the, why would they do that? That doesn't help them. That doesn't assist them. Did the Eric do a line or something before he started this video? Like, was was there was he at a party or something, and and somebody uh, gave him something, and then he got back home. He's like, I'm gonna turn on the camera and just start talking. Like, what the fuck is happening? that they're trying to perpetuate never underestimate especially uh in this day and age man the ability for people to just make shit up <laughs> all right that's that's the end of the video he's like never underestimate the ability for people to make shit up which is a vast majority of the stuff you did in this video um wow what a ride what a ride with Eric there. I uh I have to, I, I would say I'm shocked 
that, you know, this was his stance on all these things. He's talked about all this stuff before. Uh, we've covered it before, but I've never seen a video where there's just like dumb shit, just one after another, after another, after another. Uh, Eric, you committed every single offense that you complained about at the end of this video, at the beginning of your video, when you talked about people lying and being manipulative by omitting information, and then you yourself omitted information. You talked about how people take advantage of those that aren't willing to look up and research or you know do do the effort themselves while you yourself are providing information for your chat that's not being researched, nothing's being put on the screen, no numbers are being cited. Keep in mind this video was supposed to be about Elliot Page uh having an opinion that queer people uh might not be a niche audience uh, anymore. Their queer media may not be for a niche audience anymore. That was what the video was supposed to be. That's what I thought I was getting into uh, when I watched the video initially. Uh, however, it was a roller coaster ride. We ended up going from that to like the don't say gay bill to accusing gay people of being groomers, uh, then going over to something to do with Fauci and then something to do with like burning books. It, it just, it was a, a complete an utter journey from in this nine minute and 30 second video. Um, Eric is a liar and a hypocrite. 